My name is Dr. Ravi Shankar Swami. I am a senior consultant uh, neurologist uh, at Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. One of the biggest advantage of in a tertiary center uh, is that uh, you have a varied range of uh, expertise uh, available at your disposable and um, especially if you have a sick child or a child where the diagnosis is going to be tricky these are the testing times where um, we have multiple brains multiple people coming together brainstorm and come to a diagnosis and that is one of the most important uh, reason for uh, being in a tertiary center where a teamwork uh, plays a huge role We have something called as Manipal Advanced Children's Centre where various specialities are available. So I can briefly tell about the various specialities which we have. For example, in the neonatal intensive care unit, myself and Dr. Gururaj lead the team of uh, um, young and energetic uh, junior doctors. We also have the pediatric intensive care which is led by Dr. Gururaj. The pediatric emergency where we have 24 bar 7 cover for uh, uh, pediatrics uh, which is uh, led by Dr. Anandita and team. In general pediatrics we have uh, uh, pediatricians uh, Dr. Gururaj, myself, uh, Dr. Usha, Dr. Rajiv and also Dr. Anand um, so who all uh, cover general pediatrics where we provide uh, outpatient services from morning 8 o'clock to 8 p.m. in the evening following which if there are any cases then uh, you are more than welcome to come to the uh, pediatric emergency. We also have uh, additional allied specialties which are super specialties which is pediatric neurology which is led by Dr. Usha Malinath. We have pediatric pulmonology which is basically looking into breathing difficulties those children who have got uh, persistent cough and so uh, these are looked after by Dr. Eileen Kirnimi. Um, for eye problems uh, we have uh, Dr. Jalpa in uh, pediatric ophthalmology. If we have uh, common problems are people who come back and tell me that my child snores at night time, he has mouth breathing at night time, sometimes he has a nasal twang and uh, persistent rhinitis uh, or allergic rhinitis. These are dealt by our pediatric team. We have uh, multiple pediatric ENT specialists uh, led by Dr. Vijay Rangachari, Dr. Selina Ray, Dr. Anita Kumari and Dr. Alok Banka. Other common problems are bedwetting and uh, some children who got repeated urinary tract infections or those children uh, who have uh, um, problems especially in their kidney, ureter and bladder which is detected antenatally. These are all uh, looked after by a pediatric urology team led by Dr. Srinivasa and Dr. Gokul Krishna. The heart is the most important aspect and whenever the fetal medicine scans are done, there is a separate time allocated for looking at the fetal heart and uh, babies who are born with heart conditions or those babies who are admitted to ICU will require cardiac monitoring and we have Dr. Kalia, Kavya Mallikarjun who in pediatric cardiology. And uh, for pediatric cardiothoracic surgery, if those babies who have detected with antenatal problems, we have Dr. Mukundan and Dr. Arun uh, looking into pediatric uh, cardiovascular surgery. The other common problem which people come back is that they look for the child has hypothyroidism, the child is not growing well, the child is not eating well, the child is losing weight and these are all usually uh, after excluding the common issues are related to hormonal issues and for that we need uh, pediatric endocrinology services and Dr. Aditya Hegde heads the team for this pediatric endocrinology services. Sometimes babies come or children come with uh, fever, persistent cough, and things are not getting better after seeing multiple doctors and have been on multiple courses of antibiotics, have tried various investigations and still the child has, seems to continue with the infection which the child has acquired. 
in such cases we require an expert opinion in the form of pediatric infectious diseases and here dr archana is the right person to deal with children where we have problems of infection persisting for a while or some unique uh, problems uh, which has not been uh, diagnosed and this is where pediatric infection disease plays a huge part so um, skin skin is one of the most important protective organ of the whole body and uh, skin rashes uh, uh, dry skin and uh, various forms of problems associated with skin are usually dealt with the general pediatrician in the first instance but when things are still persisting then we refer to the pediatric dermatologist dr praveen bharadwaj who heads the team here at manipal hospital in whitefield plastic surgery is another department so these uh, children who have got minor cuts uh, on the face sometimes in the tongue and uh, various parts of the body where uh, uh, sutures are required which are sort of uh, does not leave a long term scar and various other indications where our plastic surgery team uh, led by dr sunil and dr ramani will be uh, you are you are at an excellent hand in this team so there are children who for various reasons are depressed or have a lot of uh, burden in form of school bullying or find it difficult to go to school or have got various issues such as the autism have uh, attention deficit hyperactive disorder and so on psychological issues and for these cases we have dr uh, neetu tiwari um, who is available at whitefield and um, she is uh, the right person to look into these issues um children do come with uh, knock knees difficulty to walk sometimes limping some bone problems uh, bony pain uh, fracture and for all these things we have dr prashant inna who is a pediatric uh, uh, orthopedician other common causes uh, include babies who have persistent diarrhea blood in the vomit and they are not gaining weight and what diet to be used and uh, so on so for this we require a pediatric gastroenterologist and dr shrikant uh, is the right person for this as i had mentioned earlier on one of the most common things what babies expect at the time of birth or mothers expect at the time of birth is poor feeding and for poor feeding uh, a lactation counseling is one of the important thing we have uh, uh, mrs uh, anita uh, uh, mrs amita who is the um, lactation counseling and we also have sister usha who is the nurse who is there throughout your stay in the hospital will help you with the feeding apart from that all our nurses in the postnatal wards are trained to help mothers in lactation um the last and most important thing comes for babies who are born in nicu and for unfortunate events do develop the brain hemorrhage or develop something called as uh, periventricular leukomalacia and these are the babies who will require some form of uh, um support and for this we have uh, entire system uh, headed by uh, uh, dr rashmi in the pediatric rehabilitation here we have physiotherapy occupational therapy speech and language uh, therapy and also psychologist work as a part of the same team all the babies in the nicu are routinely screened to see if they have any form of uh, um, behavioral or developmental problems and this is called as the neuro developmental clinic so all the babies from the nicu are seen several times once at 6 weeks once at 3 months 6 months 9 months 12 18 and 24 this visits you are not only screened for just your vaccinations and general health but you are also looked at how your growth is at how um, your uh, developmental milestones are achieved we use special scales called as the bailey scale or sometimes the uh, denver development scales these are the scales which helps to detect if children are not developing at the right pace and so if we identify these children who are having some neurodevelopmental delay then these children are picked up so that early interventions are started so that the brain plasticity improves and we limit the damage which occurs in these children so apart from that in the nicu itself we have early intervention treatment in the form of uh, our neurodevelopmental team which will look into 
early intervention so that uh, the sucking is helpful and um, the uh, suck and swallow is achieved at a early age so these are all the various specialties which are available at the manipal hospital